My name is Emma Macchiarini and I am the administrative director and founder of Metalworks SF and uh, the third generation uh, metalsmith here at Macchiarini Design. In this store, which is also it's a gallery and st production studio, we make one of a kind custom handcrafted work, which means that we don't do any mass production and no two pieces are ever the same. I make rings, earrings, bracelets. I make people's wedding rings. I do casting, I do fabrication, I do stone setting, do it all. <laughs> I'm one lady production studio. I like to make involved projects that have several layers of intricacy. A lot of times what you get out there right now is just like a piece of sheet metal that somebody's cut out and like polished, which is fine. It's very simple and that's okay, but I like crave that kind of project that's really a challenge really fun to make and also incredibly time consuming and ridiculous. <laughs> I started soldering when I was 11. I made my first wax cast pieces when I was like eight. Um, they were very rudimentary, but they were pieces nonetheless. Ever since I was little, I've always made art. It's intrinsic to my being. I, I can't imagine a life without making things. I taught at several different institutions around the Bay Area where they offer metal classes and I um, sort of did it at first kind of for, mo for money because I was trying to figure out how to earn a living. And at that time we had kind of brought some other benches in here and we had the idea to have uh, renters here. And then I was just like, you know, all we need is like maybe one or two more benches and um, we could have a school back there. But you know, when you have those kinds of ideas, it seems insurmountable. I'm like, how am I gonna get people to come and take classes? Nobody knows about it. I have to start from scratch. I feel like create a business plan or whatever, you know, like how am I, I've never done anything like this before. In my first class, I think I had four people who were actually enrolled and the rest were friends who I had sit in. Slowly we built them, um, you know, People started coming and they started learning things. They got turned on to making jewelry and then we built a, a you know, following and people who um, wanted to come and take classes here. And now we have three classes a week and we have bench renters and the space is happening. <laughs> My favorite part about teaching is working with people. I just enjoy um, creating a space for, for people to do their, their artwork that um, feels comfortable and feels directed and feels creative, basically. Yeah. Pretty straightforward. It's not um, something mysterious or something only for people who are artsy or particularly intelligent. You don't even have to be that smart. You know, it's like not, it, that's not required. What's required is having a willingness to learn and being excited about what you're making. If you keep coming back and keep doing the thing, you'll get good at it. I've been really happy with who's shown up, like all kinds of different people come in and take classes. My goal is to give them an experience. And that I think is the final product of the class. So you get this like sense of accomplishment, the sense of creativity, the sense of, uh, you know, having done something yourself with a little bit of guidance, but mostly all your own. People don't want to be in front of a computer all day long. I mean, that's not really a healthy way to live your life as a human being. We're like, you know, we're apes. We're hairless apes. We don't really like staring at the, the, the screen too much. We need contact with physical objects in the material world. It makes us feel whole. It's always hard for artists to buy their trade. That's sort of the trademark of being an artist. Our survival is really contingent upon people who value the arts. As long as there's people out there who value uh, 
handmade things and, and that people value having art in their lives and understand that it's a, an enriching thing, um, we can go on making our work, you know?